takes it down as his chest, tries to test the ground and defence. They clear it, runs back with Wallace again, into Kirk. And that's not a particularly great ball by Louis Kirk, sends Curtis Morrison away. Morrison has taken it, what, 40, 50 yards, cuts the ball back in, and unmarked is Harry Wood. And Grantham take an early lead. And it all resulted by that misplaced pass from Louis Kirk. It sent Curtis Morrison away. He went really unchallenged by the Ferriby defence. Took it down to the dead ball line, cut the ball across, and Harry Wood was there to place it past Tom Jackson. The Gingerbreads in the lead here at the Mears. Grantham Town 1, North Ferriby 0. Throwing on the far side. Tries to find corner. Cleared into the stand. Ferriby behind, trying to look for that equaliser sooner rather than later. They come into this match winning their last four games out of five. So, another throw. It's taken quickly. There's Johnson. Played into Amir Birchall. Really chopped down by the uh, Grantham defence. Easy free kick for the referee to give. So can Ferriby make the most of this set piece? Paul Bradford on to treat Amir Birchall. All the big lads going forward. Tilsey heading forward. Levi Tarbutton starting to head forward as well. A decent following down from uh, the uh, the east of Yorkshire this uh, afternoon. Best part of over 70 or 80 Ferriby fans have, uh, have made it down here to South Lincolnshire. It's great support. And you'll notice that their flags are flying as well. Good sight to see. So, Ferriby now ready to take that free kick. Birchill being sent to the touchline. Because he picked up that injury, he'll be asked to come into play in the draw. So, free kick swung into the box. And there goes Dom Roma! And the equaliser for North Ferriby. His second goal in three games. And a man who did his trade just down the road of Boston is in with the goals in Lincolnshire. Dom Roma draws Ferriby level. Grantham Town 1, North Ferriby 1. Jackson. Places the ball. It's going to hit it long into the heart of the ground of defence. Looking for Tom Corner. Ball's going to break out this left-hand side with Jack Walters now. Ball back to Harry Wallace. Takes a touch. Looks up. That's a great cross into the box. It lands with Levi Tarbutton. And Levi Tarbutton has put the villagers into the lead. What a great move by North Ferriby. North Ferriby, number eight, Levi Tarbutton was a delicious ball into the box from young Harry Wallace, taken down with ease by Levi Tarbottom. And Ferriby in the driving seat here in South Lincolnshire. Grantham Town 1, North Ferriby 2, Levi Tarbottom. Free kick to the Villagers, just short of the halfway line. Jackson plays it long, into the box once again. It's going to break to this touchline. Played into the box. Headed by Tarbon against the bar. He cuts it back. Tom Corner takes a deflection. Goal for Ferriby. Two goals in three minutes. 
And Farabee looking good for three points at 3-1. Just broke on the edge of the box. Josh Wisely cut it back in. Tarbotton had the shot. It hit the post. Broke back to Tom Corner. Who played the shot. Took a deflection. In past the helpless Grantham goalkeeper. And it's 3-1 to the Villagers. As we fastly approach half time. So goal kick. Tom Jackson knocks it long. Comes over the halfway line, flicked on. Oh, dropped to Amir Birchall. Amir Birchall's going to have a go. Oh! It's a fantastic effort from Amir Birchall. You can see the keeper off his line. He was looking for the top corner, forced the keeper into a fantastic save. Therabi very much in the ascendancy at 3 1 and looking for the fourth to kill this game off. And they find it now. Birchall heading over to take the corner. And again, Ferriby draw all the big men forward for what will be another set piece. You can be assured of that, that they will have worked on these corner routines. Ball in here from Birchall. And it goes up. And it's up to hand in from Tuntalawala. It is, you know, referee points to the spot. And a penalty for North Ferriby. Whiteley waits patiently. And places a ball onto the spot. Referee just having a word with the goalkeeper, just reminding him to stay in his line until the ball is touched. And it's looking like we're ready. And Whiteley stands and waits. Whiteley runs up, bottom corner. A sweetly struck penalty. And the sweet taste of success for North Ferriby. It's Grantham Town 1, North Ferriby 4. So into the final few minutes and Ferriby just easing their way towards those three points. Jackson takes a goal kick high. Into the Ferriby half. It's headed away. And carried forward. Ball gets hit forward. Jackson comes and pauses. And Tum Tonawala has scored. And it's not over by a long means yet. Jackson really caught in no man's land. And sees her Tum Tonawala making up for that handball at the other end. By scoring Grantham second. Grantham two. Ferriby four. Sun setting go for the Mears. And with the sun setting on Grantham's opportunity to get back into this game at 4 2. And there goes the final whistle. Well, it may not be, be pretty, but you can bet your bottom dollar it was effective. Ferriby march on towards those playoff places. Another three points for Chris Boulder and Paul Robson's boys on the road here in South Lincolnshire. It's finished. Grantham 2, North Ferriby 4. Well, Chris, uh, a good afternoon down, down south here at Grantham, uh, a 4-2 victory. What's your overall thoughts on the performance? Uh, uh, well, obviously, it's just pleasing to get the result. Um, you know, we weren't at our best by any stretch of the imagination. Um, we've been on a, a good run, and perhaps you know we looked a little bit like we didn't have too much in the tank today. 
um, but full credit to the lads if we're not going to perform to you know the best of your abilities on the ball and off the ball it's all important about getting the result and that's what we got today so hats off to them nice to score a few goals as well yeah it's strange because you know it's probably a game where we haven't created too many opportunities but you know we've come away from home against a team that's been making life difficult for other opposition and we've managed to score four goals so um you know timing of goals is is key in football uh, and we got two well well perfectly timed goals just before half time to, to take us in three one at half time the game's not getting easier dunstan at home next saturday gonna be a big one yeah of course and it'll be a different game um you know we're back on our home patch um you know on a on a pitch that we know and we can trust and um you know the lads will be well rested this week and and we'll get them together uh, and we'll go through you know a, a game plan of what we want with the utmost respect to, to Dunstan they're a fantastic footballing team um, but you know we're in a good vein of form at the minute and um, on our home patch we'll, we'll do our utmost to, to try and uh, upset the odds <laughs>